Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my second update for my HP Project Pan. I've made a little bit of progress on quite a few of the products, and I decided to go a little bit more Gryffindor today. Is someone sawing? I really hope you can't hear that. I look on, I'm looking at like the feed that my mic is getting, and I don't think you can hear it. But a neighbor is literally sawing something, and it's 6.55 a.m. on a Wednesday. So anyway, I decided to go with like a really Gryffindor look today. I did this eye look using one of my products, the Subculture Palette. Someone suggested that I do a look using Roxy and All Star in my crease and in my outer V, and then to use Cube. Now, if you saw the intro of my Pan That Palette, you'll know that I just depotted Cube because I hit such hard pan on it, I really couldn't even use it. So I did use a shade from my Bad Habit dupe of this palette all over my lid, and I actually really liked the look. So I ran with the red and Gryffindor theme and just picked like a nice nude lip and a nice red sweater. We're, we're gonna go with it. If you missed my last update along with a story time about one of my products, I'll throw that video up in the cards. Also, if you really want to see like the story behind why I picked each product, this project does contain seven products based on seven prompts created by Christina Chang. So if you want to see my whole thought process behind that, make sure you check out the intro video. I'll go ahead and throw the playlist for this project in the cards. I don't really have to update anything on the Chantecai foundation because this is already done. I already talked about this in my last update, so one out of the seven. My next product is from YSL, and this is the Vinyl Couture Mascara in the shade green, and I will say I have been a bit hesitant to use this ever since my last update and the whole fiasco I had with this mascara running on me before work, but it is still a nice mascara. I've used it, I think, only like two or three times since my last update. My goal for this is really just to use it sporadically until July, at which point it will be decluttered because it'll be over the three month mark. My next product is this ColourPop Loose Shadow. It's actually called the Superstar Loose Pigment in the shade Honey Pot. So this is a very silver loose shadow. There's no way I can use this whole thing up before the end of this project, but really what I wanted to accomplish was to force myself to actually reach for a loose pigment. So today I'm actually wearing this on my inner corners and I actually, I actually really like it with this look. I thought it might be too dark to use as an inner corner highlight, but it, it looks pretty nice and I like this. So I will try to reach for this more as an inner corner highlight, but I also do want to do some more dramatic looks, use this all over the lid. I really want to do some more editorial looks, and I, I need to carve out some time to do my makeup when I'm not going directly to work so I can do these editorial looks, because what I would love to do is a full Slytherin editorial look and use this as like a stark highlight and then do an all green eye and a green lipstick and like pat this over the lips. Ah, I have ideas, but they're definitely not looks I can wear to work and I really do need to carve out some more makeup playtime when I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> so I am working on that as well as part of this project, just really finding some more time to play with makeup as opposed to making sure the look that I have is appropriate for work or for dinner with the family, or, you know, X, Y, Z. The next product is my Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Gold Goddess. I have used this a couple of times and I have to say I do see like a little bit of progress. It looks like there are some empty spots like in the container on the sides of the container. But I honestly have no idea how I would know like I was getting to the bottom until like it was difficult to get product out. I don't know if this is a product you can actually run out of or if it eventually kind of dries out. And I'll figure that out during this project. I know that there's like a stopper right here and it looks like that's fairly easy to just pop right off. But as my depotting experience has proven, things may not be as easy as they appear. So... We will uh, hit that bridge, hit that bridge. We will cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh my god, I'm having difficulties this morning, guys. 
My next product is actually my Pen Lab palette for 2019, which is Subculture. If you missed my latest update, I'll throw it up in the cards. And in that update, I talk about how I actually hit pan on one of the products that I wanted to focus on in this project pan. So I hit pan in Edge. So you can see the pan right here. It's a little bit bigger than the pan in my update because I have been using it since that update. The four shades that I wanted to focus on for this project in particular were the four house colors as I defined them, which were Destiny, Edge, Axis, and All Star. So I am wearing right now, I'm wearing All Star on my outer V and a little bit onto my lid. I'm not wearing the rest of the shades, but I was able to hit pan on Axis not Axis, on Edge. I did wear Axis in my last weekly WOW video. I came home from work and did a more kind of glam look with it. So if you want to see that, I'll throw the weekly WOW up in the cards. The only shade I haven't really touched is Destiny. I feel like Destiny is one that I could definitely reach for because it's a green. I love green. So I've really been challenging myself to reach for the other shades because I know I can work with destiny and I know how to use it but the other shades take a little bit more work so that's why I've been focusing on those I've already hit pan on one of them if I had the perfect project pan I would have pan in each shade by the end of July that's the goal just a little bit of pan in all of them so I already have pan and edge I want to hit pan in destiny all-star and axis my next product are lashes so these are the house of lashes in knockout and you can see from the ticks i've made in the back of the box i've worn these twice i wore them for the first time in my first update and i wore them for the second time in the last weekly wow that i already linked in the cards so i am definitely focusing on wearing these as i'm filming they do look better on camera these are a bit dramatic to wear to work again i'm struggling trying to balance when i do my makeup for work versus when i do my makeup on camera i'm glad i actually reached for these because my goal is only to use these 10 times by the end of the project which would be a lot for me as someone who doesn't wear lashes that often so i think i'm actually doing pretty good with these I think I may need to trim them down a little bit more though because the last time I wore them like they really irritated my inner corner. And my last product I'm going to talk about is actually a highlighter that I have in my Everyday Z palette. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade White Raven. So this is the shade right here and I've been focusing on this upper corner right here and the goal is to hit pan. It's actually nice to see some noticeable progress in this. It, there is a significant dip in that corner of the pan as opposed to the rest of the product. I have not been reaching for this as much this month as maybe I should have. I've actually been reaching a lot more for an oldie but a goodie of mine. This is the Becca Glow Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Royal Glow. This is in my last project pan and I love this highlighter. I'm wearing it today and it's just again a lot more suitable for a lot more occasions whereas this one it is suitable but depending on certain looks it can be a bit too much like today i'm actually wearing a fairly dramatic eye look this is okay for work but i'm really going to tone it down with a nude lip and with a very like subtle bronzer contour and highlighter so i wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this eye look with this highlighter because then it might be a bit much for the workplace but if I do a subtle eye look, then I can wear this to the workplace, if that makes sense. Like, let me know down below if I'm being a bit crazy <laughs> and if no one actually cares, but that's kind of how I feel. So I really only wear this to work if the rest of my look is very downplayed and neutral. So that is my quick update for this project. Don't forget to check out Christina's channel if you missed her original video. This is such a huge project and so many people are jumping on board and it's been a lot of fun. And I am planning to do a huge like Harry Potter movie marathon towards the end of this project. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I want to drag my boyfriend into it, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> So let me know down below if you're also doing this project and if I'm not already following you either on Instagram or here on YouTube. Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.